Malware is a type of malicious software and performs different types of actions depending on its intended use. But malware is always going to perform adverse actions, actions that the target or the user does not want. So whether that's uh, stealing information or showing advertisements, all different types of actions can be performed using malware. It's uh, a malicious software. It's something that's unwanted. Within malware, you have different types of malware. You have viruses, worms, Trojan horses, root kits. All of these things are types of malware. So if you see a virus uh, if you, or a worm or a Trojan horse, just know that it all falls under the umbrella of malware. So malware is a general term. Depending on its goal, malware will have different functions. Adware or spamware is used to show advertisements to a user, to a target. So these take the form of pop-ups, either <clears throat> in a notification bar or just a, a window that would pop up, maybe a browser window very often. Uh, that pops up and shows an advertisement to the target. And what this is designed to do is to try and get the target or the user to click on that advertisement. This type of uh, malware is much more common in the 90s and the early 2000s, less so today because it's a clear indication. Most people understand that that means that you, your device has been infected with malware. Another example of malware is malware designed to steal information. And this type of malware includes keyloggers, which are, it's a type of malware that records your keystrokes on your computer to try and target your passwords, your personal information that you might input into a secure website. So it would be monitoring the uh, inputs, the keystrokes that you would put in as a user. It can also that type of malware can also scan your computer. <clears throat> well, not a keylogger, but a malware designed to steal information would st uh, scan your computer for possible personal information. So it might scan for a string of characters that represents a social security number or something that looks like an address. And it would look for documents that, that can contain this personal information so that it can send that information off to the hacker or attacker that infected your device. A very common type of malware today is... Uh, Malware that recruits your computer to be part of a botnet. And a botnet is a group of devices, a uh, group of target devices. They could be geographically dispersed. That means they could be you know, located not necessarily in the same place all across the world. And all these devices have been infected with the same type of malware. That means that that device can be used by the hacker or the attacker to perform different functions. Oftentimes, botnets are used in distributed denial of service attacks, which means that the device will be asked to uh, make a request on a target website, try and access a target website or a web resource. And when all these devices access that at once, it causes that website to go down. Web uh, malware can also blackmail a target user. Once it finds information, kind of like stealing information, it can notify the user with maybe a message prompt on their computer saying, hey, this would be a message from the attacker. I have access to your information. I need you to pay me in cryptocurrency or I'll release this um, or I'll delete this information. Ransomware is very similar. Ransomware will encrypt a target device. So encrypt a laptop or a computer or a tablet, encrypt all of the information on the device and then provide a message to the user saying, you need to pay us or we will not give you back access to your data. So that's called ransomware. It's a very common attack uh, currently. A virus, again, is a type of malware that can reproduce itself. It, can, uh, it could create another copy of itself. So viruses will replicate when a program is executed, most likely. And this is how you have Trojan horses. You would, Trojan horse is a uh, a type of malware that would act as a uh, legitimate piece of software. So you would download what you thought would be a legitimate file, execute it, and then that legitimate file might do what it said it was going to do, but it would also include a virus. And when you execute that legitimate file, a virus would infect your target device. So 
viruses can reproduce when a, a program executes and then they'll hide themselves within different file systems on your device. They can also replicate when you click a download link. So if you click a download link for a file, it might contain a virus and then your device could be infected. Antivirus software is designed to detect and remove viruses. Now, modern antivirus software doesn't just detect viruses, it detects most types of malware. So, uh, but because viruses are so prevalent, that's how that name stuck. Antivirus software was designed for viruses and most types of malware, but because viruses are so common, that's where you get the name antivirus software. And it's still used today. You still say antivirus software, even though antivirus software also looks for root kits, worms, all different types of malware. Different types of viruses include a boot sector virus, which will infect the master boot record to obtain administrative privileges. This is uh, either the, the administrator account okay, or the root account within a Linux or Unix device. A direct action virus embeds itself in computer memory, so it makes itself more difficult to detect. And a macro virus executes itself when you run a macro on a Microsoft Office application. A different you know, Excel spreadsheets or Microsoft Word documents might have macros, which are different scripts that could perform functions within the, the uh, program. And if you have those macros enabled, then if that uh, program or that spreadsheet is infected with a virus when you enable them, when you execute one of those macros your computer is also infected with the virus and a directory virus will uh, code itself into a file system and mark that file system as allocated so it hides itself in a file system marks a segment of the file system as allocated so that when scans are conducted on uh, memory the virus remains hidden and that's a form of stealth technique, much like these as well. Viruses can sometimes encrypt themselves and encrypt all the files involved in the virus. And in that way, it, the virus is trying to hide itself from an antivirus software, which wouldn't have the permissions or the means to decrypt those files. Uh, and then the antivirus, the virus would also include a decryption module within each infected. So it have the ability to encrypt itself and then when it replicates encrypt other portions of the of the memory. Modification viruses like to these types of uh, or this technique, modification technique is when the virus modifies uh, code, modifies its own code to prevent itself from popping up as an antivirus signature. So antivirus, a lot of antivirus programs work by uh, looking at signatures. They're signature based. And a signature is a set of instructions or a pattern that represents what a virus would look like. So what the virus will do is actually rewrite its own code to avoid that signature detection. And polymorphic encryption combines that encryption technique and that modification technique. Okay, so the virus not only encrypts itself with uh, an encryption and decryption module, but then that, that module is modified and altered with each infection. So you're, you're having a code that's changing and encrypted at the same time. The countermeasures to a virus are to use antivirus software. Keep it up to date. Keep those signature files up to date. Uh, modern antivirus firms look on a daily basis at uh, thousands and thousands of signature files. They update these files and these signature files are pushed out to the antivirus software through the internet. Only visit trusted websites. Don't click on download links. Don't have your users click on download links uh, from websites that are not trusted. Those, those programs or those files that they're downloading could contain Trojan horses, which would include viruses. Scan removable hardware before uh, allowing that hardware onto a computer or onto a network. And update programs and operating systems so that vulnerabilities uh, won't exist for long periods of time on your, on your uh, computer. You want to update your programs, update your operating systems because those updates include security 
changes, security configuration settings that are designed to protect against these viruses. And oftentimes, viruses are sent via email links or email attachments. So if possible, don't click on links through email. Navigate to the website that you, you want in, uh, instead. So if you get a notification from your bank saying, we, have, we need you to log into your account, just go to the bank's website that you would normally use to log in instead of clicking on that link from the email because that email could be a type of uh, phishing attack.